Meet Mistress Felicity Merriman. Her name means happiness, and Felicity is indeed one of the merriest girls in the Virginia colony. She's spirited and kind, a loyal granddaughter, sister, and friend. Felicity is not a sitting still kind of girl. Instead of stitching, she's itching to ride her beloved horse, Penny. Felicity rescued Penny from mistreatment by the cold-hearted Jiggy Nye. Miss Manderley teaches girls in Williamsburg the good manners that are expected of 18th century gentlewomen. Felicity struggles to find the patience to learn stitchery, formal dancing, and the fine art of serving tea. For spirited Felicity, the best part about lessons is being with her best friend, Elizabeth Cole. Elizabeth and her family have just come to Virginia from England. Annabelle, Elizabeth's haughty older sister, believes everything in the colonies is provincial and inferior to life in England. Felicity longs for independence, just as the American colonists long to be independent from England. They are tired of being ruled unfairly by a distant king. Men are joining the militia and mustering for war. Felicity and her family are patriots, opposed to royal rule. When the king puts a tax on tea, patriots refuse to drink it. Mr. Merriman won't sell tea at his store. Elizabeth and her family are loyalists who believe the English king has the right to rule the American colonies. Felicity isn't sure if she and Elizabeth can remain friends, especially after Annabelle calls Mr. Merriman a traitor. It's our fathers who disagree And there are differences between you and me We hear the drumming and the mustering for war We hear that trouble's rumbling just outside the door And there's a tempest in every pot of tea Faced with a choice between love for her friend and loyalty to her family, Felicity learns that being independent means thinking for herself. Through careful mending, Felicity and Elizabeth renew their friendship even as the colonies and the king go to war. Felicity and Elizabeth promise one another they'll faithful friends forever be. Forever be.